and again, squishy heroes, and we have a Let Templar assassin. Now. Okay, oh, all on the back of Yopaj, all on. And then we actually ended up feeding him two or three kills before his six. Like we actually died to it. It's something that the new brood uh, is good at. Brood is a strong laner, so exactly. this is one thing that people underestimate. He's look at this! Very look at this! Look at this! Here we go. He's just running him down with the ink swell. That's gonna be too much damage. First blood going over to Soxa. 33. You know, Neta, Neta getting his cheese pick and Neta getting the first blood like this. Uh, but bottom lane. It's gonna be some good damage being dealt here. Maybe even a kill. Oh, that acorn bouncing back over to Sneaking. Almost finished off the job, but he had the fairy fire and he had a little bit of spirit. Oh no! And 33 gets another kill at top. Jaggy falls again. And the you stole him from the creeps. Or if he goes for the creep wave, you make him pay every time. And what? Uh, that way he never right. feels comfortable to go on the offensive. Is the brute. Exactly. Oh, mid lane though. Grimstroke in the rotation. Big kill. Tundra is flowing. He, he can yeah. actually delay the push by himself. Radiant but the Chaos Knight and Grim could go for a big play together. And because Brood is doing all the pressure in the world already. And I feel like they're not. Oh, uh, oh, oh. They tried. Almost. <laughs> didn't, get the, uh, <laughs> didn't get the blinding light off, right? The ulti. But the carry is there to the rescue. As AK sealing the lane. Mm. They're gonna be able to catch up. Burrow Strike intercepts. They're gonna be able to get the epicenter off this bushwhack. A good amount of healthy damage there onto the Chaos Knight. He's trying to get out. Oh, but the Soul Bind is not gonna be enough to save him. They do man manage to get the silence in with the Inkswell on top of the two. Snake King trying to burn them through. Now Nine's here to deliver the finishing blow. The Snake King falls first. He hopes to be able to catch the little Tim Squirrel, but. Like it doesn't work straight yeah. up. Oh, you don't think the, si the Siphon actually works on the Grim Circle? Yeah, oh, not. look at this. This is oh, big. This is a big pickup, but they can get it. The Brood Mother, he's trying to get down to low ground. He's got the webs coming out, but he slowed down to a crawl. They need a little bit more damage, but they didn't quite have it. And now Nine is going to punish them. A spear back in, piercing the Bristle Bank, stunning him to the tree. And now the Chaos Knight is here to be able to provide the extra disables. That is going to be Jackie falling, and even Tim's trying to go for a desperate TP out. He does manage to make it, but two cores down on the side of Boom. They tried to. Toro's low. I think they'll just give it up. A little awkward to have both these heroes here at this moment of the game, you know? One of them could be top or one of them uh, could yeah, be somewhere else. Yeah, the BB death into the respawn. Like, they didn't know yeah, Oh, boy. Tim's certainly dead here. Eight to one. Meanwhile... he's gonna be able to find an opening here on his snaking, but the silence went out before. A snaking still dead, though. Yo, Posh with the big damage. Piggy! Now see the Chaos Knight. He's trying to get away the little piggy form. That extra bit of movement speed is not gonna be enough to get you away from FPC. The oh. spider's just getting creamed by the Templar Assassin. Pushed back into the epicenter for a little bit more. The blast is still not quite enough. No! Oh. Skater gets away. The silence, and once again, Knight is here to punish. You can't quite finish him off. Oh. And Knight... Uh oh Yo, Posh, though, he's kind of online, delivering some heavy damage to Brosh. Oh, oh, no, it missed oh, it. Oh, he managed to get a blink away, though. Oh, the side lane kill. Gets side away from the Brood Mother, and Jackie comes in from the other side to clean up both the Chaos Knight as well as the Grimstroke. Oh, boom, showing up. I, I, so much went on this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, it looked really bad for them. Uh, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, when CK got out, I thought, shit, man, that's it, you know? But no. But then the side blade. Yeah, the side blade. Oh, and my he missed God. the borrow, too. Um, sanking. I, that looked really poorly, because whenever the Grimstroke gets the ink swell off. Oh, look at this, though. This is really big. Another entrance. Boom. Not slowing down whatsoever. They find it opening. They keep pressing it. Oh, this is unbelievable. I it was really potent. Like it's 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 strong when you're snowballing the game. You shut down the map. He took over the triangle by himself. Played super good brute. Anyway, Yo Posh, good timing. Oh, managed to come in immediately. Kills the Grim Stroke, and now nine. He is going to be victim to this as well. It started off with Tundra trying to go for the sneaky Roshan, but boom, thanks to a TA tramp, spots it. Now they're going to be able to take Roshan for themselves, perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not yet. Yeah. Look at the mini map. Like very good positioning. They're going to sandwich the top lane right now. Take over the top lane, very proper for Dyer to do so. Oh. Sneaking. Oh, he's gonna be found. That. Only so many places you could hide. I love that mechanic with the hoodwink <laughs> and then the vert verticality. Yeah. Sometimes early game a bit rough, but there, there's Stone Cold. <sighs> they already have the side blade on the spider links, you can't really do anything about it. You two seem so confident about some of the early games. Oh, they're gonna jump back in for the Chaos Knight. He does have BKB, but he won't get a chance to get it off. What, what was, what was what that on Hoodwink? Can I can we see the Hoodwink real quick? Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought I saw some Blink Dagger. That was, that was crazy. Yeah, I think uh, Skeeter has a hard time finding his place now in the game. Uh, you can see him farm very deep on the map there. Uh, there. He has no towers to back him up, not even tier two. Uh, like he has a brood in the team, you know. 
Oh, the Smitter Snare. Oh. It caught both the cores. Yopanj does have his BKB, oh. but the Bristleback is going to get a little bit low. He's having a hard time delivering the damage on a Snake King. The Arena blocks some of it. Bristleback is eventually going to die. He's tied up to Yopanj right now. Snake, oh, there it goes. Finally, he dies. Jackie, though, speared back into a little bit of a Smitter Snare holding him in place, but uh, they ultimately didn't have the staying power. Tundra just going to take what they could have gotten out of that Bristle and leave. That was a pretty good jump. They knew the Hoodwing wasn't there. Yeah, the Aghanims did something. Uh, like, I'm very surprised. And they're going to fight this. Skitter TPing in. See an opportunity. See if they can burn through the TA real quickly. He does still have the Aegis for another minute. It's a good blinding light. Very good blinding light. Yeah, a very good jump by Skeeter too. And TA. jump back in. Two-man burrow strike set up by FBZ. Beautiful stuff. And Skeeter going to have to use his BKB to retreat. And boom, a smelling blood in the water. Going to keep it going. Oof. Nice shot from Tim's. A bushwhack hidden into the trees. That's going to catch an extra kill in Socks on the way out. Oof. With their advantage they had early game. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we, we saw like uh, Tampa was far. Oh, okay, it's not falling off. Oh, the same no. Thing. 33. I think Brood did his job this game, but um, it's hard, you know. Dota is a hard game. Boom. Just relentless. Did a little bit of fake back. Jump back in. Kill Broodmother. Now being happy coming. Base. Center being threatened. They're going to try and go for the fast kill on a sinking. Nine actually takes a lot of damage from those side blades. He's going to have to bulwark his way out of that one. Oh. MBC does get caught by Skeeter. Hit him with the stun. Sand King now down. Boom trying to retreat, but the Spinner Snare is making things a little sticky. Nine looking for his opportunity to blink at a spear back, but Bristleback is searching the fights. They know they need this type of fight. They can't get out of the map. There's no more farming, no nothing. Look at this. As soon as they get out of the map, Boom is ready. Immediately they pounce. And Skeeter, he does have that BKB up. He really doesn't want to have to pop yeah, it I here. I think should commit fully here. Just, you know, be Look at this. Yeah, they're going to be able to... Oh, nine. He thought he had the opportunity to get the quick spear, but deny. Yo, Posh with a little bit faster on the BKB. Tim's looks for the shot. Slowing down that brood mother. Oh, that is just far too much. You guys, you, I don't know if you saw Tim's Yules. Again, the self Yules denying the Marsh Spear. Beautiful. Tim's is owning. Jackie's not slowing down. He's going to go for Socks here, committing his BKB to be able to do it. Oh, oh. well. No nine either. None of these heroes have buyback. It's, uh, it's just going to be the Death Prophet and the Chaos Knight now to try and stand up against a five man of boom swarming into their base. Well, it's going to be a game five by the looks of it. Yeah. Kura, you've, uh, you've experienced boom in this tournament. What, what's it like playing against them? This is where we're going to watch oh, Snaking uh, go down. I, I just love playing uh, international teams. Um, they're an aggressive team, of course. Um, I thought we had them in some moments, but the, they just showed up better than us today. GG being called. That means